Hey, uh, I'm Andrew Durand and I'm here interviewing my uh, friend John Graham Cumming. Thanks um, very much. Who's also speaking here at Dotco. Um, John, may, maybe just introduce yourself, who you are, what do you work on? So I'm a programmer at a company called Cloudflare, which is based in San Francisco, although it has an office in London where I work. And I spend about 50% of my time programming in Go. Nice, nice. And you guys have a really great blog as well. We have a crazy blog, yeah. We yeah. spend a lot of time communicating through our blog. In fact, it's basically our only marketing tool is our blog. So. That seems to be pretty effective. Um, so I've been asking some, I have three questions for you. Okay. Um, so the first question is, what is the first Go program you wrote? Not just like Hello World, but you know, to solve a problem. So the th first significant Go program I wrote was a thing for Cloudflare actually called Railgun. Mm -hmm. And um, what happened was I was on BART going from San Francisco to the airport. And I had been given a list of possible things to write and for Cloudflare. And one of them was this crazy compression program. The idea was it was to compress very low, long latency HTTP connections. And I was like, that sounds like a highly concurrent network type thing. I'm just going to write that in Go. And that's what I did. And I didn't tell anybody at Cloudflare what I was doing. I told them I'm going to work on that project. I didn't tell them what language I was using. And that was significant. And that's now actually deployed very widely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so like, that actually, if I understand correctly, um, it sort of uh, compresses like the deltas of changes for like dynamic websites. Yes, yes. So the idea is that if you have a dynamic website that's on Cloudflare, Cloudflare could slow it down if it weren't for the case that we do this crazy delta compression, which is that we take the last version of a web page and we cache it at both ends of a, of a TCP connection. Mm. And then we just delta it. So we end mm. up sending you know, like three bytes. I mean, even, even websites you think might change quite a lot, uh, like mm. say Reddit, mm. they don't actually change that much from mm. refresh well, to refresh. Most of it's markup and stuff. Right? Most of it's markup, yeah. 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 So that was the first significant program I wrote. Cool. That's a, that's a pretty impressive first code program. <laughs> <laughs> this first real one that worked, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do you feel good about the code base still? Is it? As, uh, to be honest with you, I feel really good that I handed it off to somebody else. <laughs> so I, I wrote the first version, and like any first version of it, you look back at it and you think, I can tell where I was learning the language and what I was writing, and I can I look at it and get embarrassed by bits of it. I, I, honestly, I think if you don't get embarrassed by code you used to you're write, not you're not learning and you're not yeah. getting any better. So there's a guy who now works for me, his job was <laughs> make this even better. So oh, that's he's cool. done that. Yeah, he's made a good, done a good job. That's cool. Um, so my second question is, um, what's your favorite bug? Um, and that can be interpreted in different ways. So you mean a, a bug in a Go program? Can be, or just another? Well, I have to tell you that I, I used to work in uh, networking hardware. Mm. And um, when you get the boundary between hardware and software, then you get weird bugs, right? Mm. So you get very interesting things. And the, probably the strangest sort of bug that I sort of really remember working on was one Back in the days when you had to deal, deal with IRQs in PCs, right? you got cards and you put them in yourself. Uh, we had a piece of networking software that would crash. It was a, it was a Novell, so this is going back a while, stack, mm -hmm. that would crash if you simultaneously played um, the Miami Vice theme tune <laughs> through a Creative Sound Blaster card. <laughs> and so the, the way in which we debugged this was I literally had to play this one file, but it's a WAV <laughs> file. And, what, and then you know, have these debuggers and find out why the stack was crashing. Because this is all the interrupt sort of problem. Mm. And my colleagues, uh, where I was working... But it didn't working, happen with other... Well, it just happened, that was the test case, right? Okay. And it was reliably reproducible by you play this thing. <laughs> so I would listen to this thing over and over again. And eventually my colleagues came and they, one of them walked over and he pulled the speaker cable off the motherboard <laughs> of the machine I was working. Because it was all open, right, with all the hardware stuff. So I cannot hear that again. So luckily that that didn't affect the bug reproduction. Right. So, and it was some weird interaction of you know, 8-bit, 16-bit mm. IRQ stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. You know, I've done a lot of like, retro coding for old platforms and stuff, so it's, they're the funnest bugs yeah. to deal with. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. And my third question is, um, what is the worst code you've ever written that you, you, you can think of? Uh, the worst thing I've ever written? Um, there are things I've been embarrassed by. So I once fixed uh, a bug in some code I had by patching the application that was causing the bug to get tickled. So we couldn't, uh, this is also in networking hardware, we couldn't actually patch our driver to fix the bug because of various reasons. And so what we did was in the, there was a routine that would call into us from the, from the app, right, which wasn't our app, it was a third party application. And uh, so 
what I did was actually in the, the interrupt service routine, I, I popped the return address off the stack and had a look at the program that was calling me and identified if it was this particular program that tickled the bug and actually patched the code <laughs> live. <laughs> so that, that, that I, I, I'm both in awe of and embarrassed by. Yeah, <laughs> so, so simultaneously great it, and it was terrifying. Like, yes, but it was, the, it was the most expedient way to fix that bug. So, so yeah. Cool. I well, try not to do that sort of thing these days because yeah. it's kind of terrifying. If it can be avoided, just patch yeah. that third-party application. So, nice. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks very much.